so y'all know I started working out right at the gym with my personal trainer and everything. I take this sea moss in the morning with my tea and it makes me feel so good. You feel the results instantly. Drop down in the description box and get you a small packet of this sea moss, girl. You ain't got nothing to lose except for all that stomach. So, Nessa, girl, I've been teasing and promising y'all forever about the time when I had to throw a drink on a Karen down to the bar with a Honda's beat. I tried to drown that old bitch with that margarita. Wanna hear about it? Here you go. Nessa girl, I've been promising y'all this story forever and I've been debating if I was going to tell it because I didn't want to put a story out there in the atmosphere about me assaulting some damn body. But I'm going to tell the story anyway. So the story goes, bitch, we down to the bar with a Honda cars, be drinking, slapping five, having a good old time. Okay, um, little old Spanish lady, I had never seen her before. She was a friend of one of our bar friends. I'm just going to call this bar friend Maria. She was a friend of Maria's, one of Maria's uh, workers. Or when Maria got a business, she was one of Maria's workers. And so all night long, everybody in the bar, we doing shots, we dancing, we talking shit, we slapping fire, we having a good time. So it comes, she's sitting to the right of me. Two seats over, it's me, an empty seat, then her. Now, by the end of the night, I'm drunk, okay? How we don't came over and told the bartender, you know, close out, start washing the dishes, give people their tickets or whatever. And, bitch, I'm real drunk, okay? So, I'm down in my phone just checking Instagram comments. I don't know, checking emails, sending text messages or whatever. And all I hear out my right ear is, Puff Daddy is the problem with South Beach. All the problems came with Puff Daddy. So I look up and I said, why? Because he brought black people? Now I don't know if this bitch thought I was purple, green, or orange. Cause she turned her head to the left and said, Yes. And so I gave this Spanish bitch a chance to correct herself. I put my phone down and I cocked my head to the side and I, and I put my hand on my hip while my backbone slipped. And I said, because he brought black people? And she started shaking her head and she said, Yes. Bitch, I went clean off. I stood up. I called that woman everything except a child of God. I'm cussing her out. Bitch, you ought to be glad I ain't a motherfucking woman. I'd drag your motherfucking ass here, you racist ass bitch. Bitch, if I was a woman, I'd knock your ass out that motherfucking chair right now. How dare you? Girl, I was cussing that woman out so bad that people was coming from the bike. They was running for the liquor store bar on the cameras. They was like, oh God, oh God, what's going on? The customers ain't know what to do, baby. The customers was coming from the pool table. People was coming at the bathroom. The customers that was coming in the door, they had stopped at the door, baby. They didn't know what the hell was going on. It was about to be some furniture moving in that motherfucker, okay? So then one of our other bar friends, Pat, he walked over and was like, Q, Q. Calm down. I said, Pat, you better get your motherfucking ass out of the way before I beat your ass too. Move. You don't know what this bitch said to me. I'm steady. Cuss her ass out. Cuss her ass out. She's sitting down there like this. Hey, hey, hey. She'll try. You, you know how they get to do it. They offend you. Then they want to play all innocent like a damsel in distress. And the more her ass said, hey, 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 
like I was killing her, the more it was infuriating me, bitch. I'm winding up like this, because you know when you get to winding up, that's that involuntary motion in this arm right here. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I can't hit this woman. I can't hit this woman. Bitch, next thing I know, I looked to the left, it was a full motherfucking margarita right there. I picked that margarita, I took that bitch, I said, bye y'all. I, 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 baby, I tried to baptize that bitch in the name of Don Julio. Don't play with me, ho, okay? Do not play with me down to this bar. I, listen, mess around with me, I know to this day the bitch about got glaucoma. I tried to take her damn cornea and her pupil out with that damn margarita. I baptized that bitch in the name of Don Julio, okay? And then I walked out before them people called the police on me and I went home and hid my car on the fifth floor to the back of the parking garage and put my phone on do not disturb because I wasn't trying to go to jail. Okay, uh, and so y'all, that's the moral, I mean that's the story, that's where it started and it stopped. Now since that time, I have seen this woman again or whatever and I ain't got nothing to say to her. The people down to the bar said I got drunk one night and I was like, that's the bitch who said that racist stuff to me. I don't remember. But that sounds like something I probably do and they said I made her feel uncomfortable but you know what, I don't give a damn. Cause you made me feel uncomfortable and then I will tell y'all this, last week, Maria called herself pulling me to the side, she was tipsy and she was like, you know, my friend, the lady name was Bettina. She said, Bettina is really sorry. She tried to apologize to you. I said, actually, no, she didn't. And I said, I think that I would remember someone apologizing to me for something that severe. And I said, and thirdly, her apology means absolutely nothing to me because at 50 something years old, you don't change overnight. That's how she feels. And Maria kept saying, no, but she's not like that. She didn't mean it. I said, well, what did she mean, Maria? What did she mean? And what do you mean she's not like that? And she said, you know, listen, I'm just having a birthday party and I want both of you to be there. I said, don't invite me. I said, let, let, me, make it, let me make it easy for you. Don't invite me. I'm good. I ain't got to go to the body. And I said, and you can tell her she don't have to worry about apologizing to me because I don't want to hear it. Your apology means nothing. You don't change your soul, your spirit in 24 hours, baby. Whatever that is you felt, whatever you felt about black people, that's in your bone marrow, bitch. Unless I really did baptize her ass in the name of Don Julio and it changed her life. See, I'm changed, so changed. And then I told Maria was adamant about me making up with the lady. And I kept telling her, I said, look at what you're asking me to do. I said, stop being selfish. Somebody committed a racial atrocity against me and you now want me to go be friends with them. You want me to go be friends with somebody who thinks less than me for your comfort. No ma'am, I'm not doing it. I don't need it, I don't want it, I'm not the nigga for it. You know what I'm saying? And the gag is, she lucky she got me and somebody who had a little bit of restraint. Cause she had she caught the wrong black person, they would have knocked her ass off that damn stool, elderly racist bitch. I bet that helps her never look at another margarita the same. I bet she get PTSD every time she sees somebody shaking something like this, y'all. So that's what happened. Am I proud about it? No, I ain't, but it happened. I wish I would have exercised some more self-control because I could have messed around and went to jail messing around with Karen. But that bitch will think twice for she ever uttered the words South Beach or Puff Daddy. I'll call y'all later.